Hello and welcome um, to my videos about Chopin Mazurkas. Now we have Mazurka Opus 7 number 2. Uh, this is a very sad Mazurka in general. We have the, ver the, sad, the very sad melody here. Okay, well, this is Kujawiak, but I don't really think it's a dance, first of all. We don't have the, the dance spirit here. It sounds more like just a song. You know, we have many Polish folk songs just singing. We can imagine a girl um, sitting in front of her house and maybe missing her lover and singing a very sad melody about him and about how much she misses him. This is here this melody uh, makes us the pianists inspired very much and we can interpret it as as beautifully and as uh, interestingly as we can. So this is it's all up to us how it's going to sound um, the legato and the phrasing and the changing the colors and shaping the phrase this is all uh, that uh, well I'm going to try to work um, so that it is very uh, magnetic I would say to listen to Here we have the question. Can you can you hear the question? Every time when the composer, especially Chopin, wants to make a question, the melody goes up like the question mark. So will I see him again, for example? And then the answer is very powerful. We have forte and a little faster. It's like, yes, I will do everything possible to see him again. And then again we have this melody. And then we have different the question again. And the very soft answer. Yes, so well, this the the challenge for a pianist is first of all to practice the right hand alone. And I I I love to practice like this. I close my eyes and I try to imagine that somebody is singing. Some far away, very far away. And then again this, and the left hand as soft and sad as possible. And all together... And then uh, the next phrase is the continuation, but it's like a hesitation. Can you hear it? It's like we are trying to go up, but then going down again up. And then finally up. a very typical way of present well creating sadness in music we uh, mm, we take 
a short motif and we make a chromatic um, chromatic progression we call it chromatic going down and all together with the left hand we have a very um, dark very dark harmonies it's all creates a deep sadness We are coming back to this waiting and and now the smile so the major key the smile and then something new uh, appears we have the mazur listen Tam, pam, tam, ta -tam. This is very typical mazur, but uh, two things. First of all, it's dolce, so sweet, and not not very loud. It means that there is maybe something very far away, some dance very far away on, or we are just recalling the dance, or or the dance is only in inside, or we want to dance but we cannot dance. Uh, or there is a party somewhere very far away and we just hear people playing. Uh, so it's also pianistically demanding because we need to do very soft but also very precise. And here we have this very specific... Four times... Ta -ta 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 -ta, very fast repetition we call it. It's very easy, I mean, not, not easy, but it's easy to play it loud. But to make it very soft, you need to practice a lot this very soft touch and very fast touch. I, I like to practice it on my leg. Ta -ta -ta -tam, ta -ta -ta -tam, ta -ta -ta -tam. First on my leg, then... Chopin was using that um, in, in, in a in other pieces as well, um, for example in Polonaises, and that makes it sound more um, uh, more, uh, more like, um, per, how to say, military in a way, in a, in a military Polonaise. We have this a lot of that. And now you have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's exactly the same thing, right? But in the muzzle this time. Um, and then we have the next, which is suddenly forte. So it means that we are, we manage to go out from this world of imagination and we are inside this party. stops and again and we are coming back to the sadness so um, here the the main challenge, I think, is to find the good spirit, the good character of each uh, part of this mazurka and to make it, uh, to draw it uh, as clearly so uh, as so that um, it's, it's very easily absorbed by the listener. Mm, I hope you, you liked um, this very short video about this beautiful mazurka and I invite you for the next series. Thank you very much.